All righty, welcome to the Work in Progress Movie Podcast. Uh, this is Isaiah. I have Gary and Brian here for today's intermission episode. We're going to do a little Halloween special since um, we just wanted to talk. There's too much, it's too little time to put in as many Halloween movies as possible. So we're going to do a little episode where we just get to talk about our favorite ones, what the holiday has meant to us like from a movie perspective, and then just our favorite memories of Halloween. So my first question for everyone is pretty much, what is y'all's... Like, when you think of Halloween, what's your go-to movie? The first one that you think of. Oh, man. Probably Halloween Part 2, the original. Okay, the hospital one? Yeah. <laughs> why Why that one? I loved his, his mask and his look in that one. Uh, but I think because it just brings back memories for me. Because that one was always... Uh, Besides, uh, uh, what do you call it? Friday the 13th mm-hmm. and Nightmare on Elm Street. That one was like the number one one at the time. Right? Maybe still now. But at that time, it was like the creepy one. Like the one that everyone would, you know, gather together and watch. Yeah. You know, late night after trick-or-treating and everything like that. Once you get yeah. back home with everyone. We, you know, after hitting up Blockbuster and stuff like that, oh, I miss God, Blockbuster. <laughs> I miss that, especially I the one by your house. They had great games too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it just puts me in the spirit, especially like when you kick it off. Like I'm already kicking off October and sep- the end of September. Like it's my favorite month. Um, a lot of people like le- uh, love Christmas, but to me, I and even besides that, it's my birthday in October. I just <laughs> love the the whole fall season. Yeah, so my favorite holiday is actually Thanksgiving, but that's because it's close to my birthday, so. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so for me, like, the movie that I always pick, usually, um, even though it's not a horror film, it's still, like, one that's just forever there, is uh, Hocus Pocus. Um, yeah. It's just a movie that you always have to watch during that, that time of the year. Um, just the, the performance that they do, like, at the concert, like, you just never forget about it. <laughs> oh, um, dude. <laughs> so it's just, it's just kind of funny. Um, what about yours, Gary? Um, it's hard because I love, I love so many like seventies, eighties, nineties scary movies. Mm-hmm. Um, like immediately when you asked the question, I went to The Witches, the nineteen ninety three The Witches, um, because. It's just, to me, it's such a classic movie. I watched it at my dad's house when I moved in with him Mm -hmm. um, on TV. And it was just like, it's such a good combo of like comedy because it's like stop motion, you know, rats and the kid, uh, the kids are so like cute and innocent, but also like the witches themselves, like their makeup, their design are really scary. Like as a kid, like, they're really gross looking. Like they have bubonic plague all over them. Um, the extended nose. Yeah, the extended nose. They're like the warts. They're tempting kids with like chocolate bars. Um, yeah. There's just something so iconic about that movie, and like it reminds me of trick or treating as a kid, and like how it's both scary and fun at the same time. Mm-hmm um because it yeah the witches isn't like such like a it's there's no it's not like a halloween nightmare on elm street like it's not super scary or violent it's a good balance of scary and fun um so my mind goes to the witches 1993 but also the (laughs) (laughs) runner-up but the runner-up uh chucky Oh god. Probably Chucky 1 and 2. Um that was like yeah. one of the first movies, like scary mm-hmm. movies um I watched at my dad's house and I loved it. Uh I didn't think it was that scary. I just I loved it so much. Mm-hmm. I love Chucky. I love the way he dies. I love how like he just keeps coming back, but he's a doll. Um I don't know, man. Uh those two movies for sure like kick off Halloween for me and I agree with Brian like I don't care at all about Christmas Christmas to me is just a time where people buy shit and buy as much as they can at the lowest price they can to me Halloween is Halloween movies pumpkins uh, pumpkin everything it's scary movie time like fall weather comes in 
yeah, it, <laughs> I, I I agree. It's like my favorite month to uh, my favorite like holiday to celebrate. Oh, okay. Yeah, and Brian, the joke I had made was because he said like his mind always goes to this movie, and I was like, but his heart goes to, and then he said Chow's <laughs> to the Chucky one, so. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, yeah, so like Halloween is definitely an interesting holiday because it's actually out of the three, like you know, out of the holiday season, it's technically my least favorite. Um, because for me, it's always been Thanksgiving, Christmas, and then Halloween in that order. Um, but I think I've enjoyed it more only because I've, when I was a kid, I didn't care for it too much. Like I. I, I, I was not the biggest fan of trick or treating. I not really a, I don't eat candy in general, so I know I was always pointless for me. Yeah, you eat Halloween Oreos. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only that is like the only like related Halloween thing I would do was just eat Halloween like I I don't know why. I have this upset like I have this weird thing where the only Oreos I can eat are the Halloween ones. You and Mari. <laughs> Mari was asking me the other day like if we were gonna buy Halloween Oreos. Dude, I told you, man. It's there's just something about she that. She says they taste, they taste the best. They do, they do. I don't, so I don't get it. it. She gets it. They hit different. When is the orange one? It's different. You know what? I'm gonna go get some Halloween Oreos, and Marty and I will share those. <laughs> <laughs> Not stopping you. Um, but that's about it. Like other than that, like I think I've just been enjoying the movies a little bit more, especially now that we've done this podcast. I've watched so many horror movies that I've never seen before. Um yes so i've definitely just it's opened up my mind as to like at least for a movie perspective um as for the holiday itself dressing up i'm only dressing up because of my parents yeah. anniversary party that's it um and that's it <laughs> um i guess <laughs> what was what you doing gay? <laughs> i am so glad i'm recording this because this one is going on youtube <laughs> Um, anyways, um, so outside of the movies, I guess, what is y'all's favorite, what is y'all's most, uh, it could be, like, I guess a Halloween event. Let's do, actually, yeah, let's do, uh, memorable Halloween movie scene, and then a memorable actual Halloween event that you've lived through. Ooh, I don't that's have a good answer. one. I don't have an answer to that, so someone go first, good please. One. That's a good one. <laughs> uh, scene? Mm -hmm. For me, would probably have to be, and we. I just saw this the other day. Uh, uh, when I was a kid, like mm -hmm. uh, I had probably like nightmares for a good minute. Uh, the original uh, Linda Blair, The Exorcist. Okay, yeah. When she came, when she came down backwards uh, down the stairs. Oh shit! <laughs> it's like so disturbing. Dude, I still yeah, that, that and then when she turns her movie. head, when it's she so does good. the three sixty head turn. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I was watching a reaction video to that. Like somebody was like reacting to the movie, and they got to the head yeah. part. They're like, they like they put their head down. Like they couldn't see any more of it. <laughs> it's just so. And gross. I can just imagine like people in the seventies when this first came out. Like they didn't have anything major, like overly scary like that. So mm -hmm. of course people were having heart attacks in the theaters and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. It's not like now, like where we have like real, like intense kind of like gory stuff you know people couldn't handle that back then they were you know they weren't they weren't ready for that yeah okay what about a, a memory like an actual event that like either it could be you know like a halloween event that you went to or just something that you that's like most memorable for you uh the first time that i ever we ever actually made it into the insane asylum mm. uh this was before they built a cop station across the way, but yeah. we were able to sneak in and I shit you not, it's exactly how people say. It's like they got up and left. Like there was everything was still there. There was even files like thrown around. Okay. Dude, that's what like, I heard. That's what I heard. Yeah, you, I, I picked up a paper just to you know, just to like, you know, real quick skim it out and it was like like the they had a, a not schizophrenia, but something like something similar. Like they were having illusions or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, "What the hell?" And and we were going through it. It was just so uh, so intense. But what freaked us out is that we went maybe like four or five people deep, mm -hmm. and everyone swore that they kept hearing people upstairs walk around. Oh. And we kept like like looking around like we thought people were like there too like oh we're gonna run into another group 
and this was before Halloween. This was it was in October, but it was a little bit right. It was like maybe a day or two before. Mm-hmm. So we wanted to catch before everyone, you know, started going uh-huh. or try to go. And uh, we heard uh, footsteps all in all in the halls in the insane asylum. We're in the main building too, because uh-huh. there's a few buildings. There's like even a little abandoned like security little hut that's there that's all jacked up. Okay, but uh, and for the yeah, I think I think the aura of that building though in general when you just walk in there, you can feel like you know there a lot of shits happen there yeah, and for the listeners i guess um if you can explain to them what the insane asylum is if for those that may not live in san antonio uh it's a an old man in a san asylum that, that actually closed maybe in like 2000 i think 2001 2002 it finally closed its doors but i've been there forever and uh it had been rumored that maybe 20 people died there. Okay. So it just bring everyone to go and check it out. Obviously, because it was just left there too. So it was yeah. kind of like mysterious. I was like, they oh, let's take a look see what may have happened or whatever. whatever we'll see. Yeah, and they, it, it just looked like, you know, one day they set an alarm and uh, they evacuated everyone yeah. and just left everything. It's like, like uh, uh, beds were, you can see like some of the beds were like people hopped out of them. Yeah. Like, they just picked up the covers and they took off. <laughs> so it was pretty crazy. <laughs> there was a wheelchairs that were, like, around that were still there. Like, you could see they were being used and stuff like that. So <laughs> it, it was crazy. I mean, I, you could even see, like, uh, straps, mm-hmm. uh, chairs with straps and stuff like that. Um, even the one where they put the mask on you and you sit down, you can't move. Okay. Like, so I, that was real. That was a real uh, my first trippy experience like that because I ha- we haven't really we didn't really venture off like that until like maybe the famous San Antonio like train tracks. Which yeah, is pretty I was much it. train tracks because like, that's like the only other thing that I could really remember was just those. Um, but so for me, like a movie memorable movie moment. Um, it was in uh, Insidious when they're having the conversation oh. at the table. And then yeah. the the mother to the ma- uh, to the main ca- character, the guy, um, the mother's like talking about the son, and then like that that the that demon's face is like standing like just there staring right behind like right behind him like out of nowhere, like that scene. Oh no, yeah, that scene like that scene made me jump because <laughs> they're just having a normal conversation, and she just looks at him, and the guy's like right there, like ah, like right behind. Like you him. don't expect that. It's in broad daylight. Yeah, yeah it's like out of nowhere. <laughs> So it was just that that mem- like I seen that face has always been like just implanted in my head like it's just there <laughs> it's so creepy. Um, I'm so glad you brought that up though because <laughs> I I just a quick memory uh, I saw that when it first came out in Austin yeah and that that night like the group that I went with mm-hmm. they all went back to my apartment they were like we're just gonna stay the night here we're all freaked out <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember where everyone was freaked out I don't remember where everyone was. was like looking around like <laughs> are the I guess I have two. So for the for the in person one, uh, I think I have two ones that I want to share. Uh, the first one was nice. after we had seen the strangers uh, mm-hmm. with a couple friends. I believe Gary was there. I can't remember honestly. Uh, Gary, were you there? No. Okay. So Gary was not there, but it was like Victor and other people. We all went to go see Strangers, and then I was like so freaked out by that movie that like when I got dropped off, the lights at my parents' house were like all off. Like everything was off. And so, like, I ran from the car to the front door, and when I tried to unlock the door, the top lock was locked, so I couldn't unlock it. So I was just there, like, standing outside in the dark, like, all freaking out. I was, like, ringing the doorbell, like, open the door, open the door, open the door. <laughs> like, I was freaking out. Um, another one was, it was the most random thing that Victor and Gary could have ever done to me, where we, I think, I don't know if you know where I'm going with this, Gary, but there was a time we all called me randomly. You're like, hey, man, we're outside. Let's go somewhere. I was like, wait, where are we going? Like, oh, man, we just want to hang out. We want to hang out. I was like, okay, fine. I come outside. It's late, too. So I come outside. As soon as I get in the car, one, they lock the door. Two, both Victor and Gary turn around with flashlights and, like, hold two face. Like, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> like, are you ready? I was like, wait, what are we doing? And then Victor takes off, and they're all like, all right, we're going to the, what was it, the Donkey Lady Bridge or whatever? Donkey Lady Bridge, dude. That was my second one. That was my second example. <laughs> so that one... I haven't oh been there in a God. minute. Yeah, so I had never been there, but one, I don't like stuff like that. Like, I don't like hunting for stuff like this. But Gary, 
like we went and i was already stuck in the car like they locked doors on me um but we were already driving and then when we got there it, it, was, it was creepy because like it's just a, it's just an empty bridge like there's just nothing there it's just dark um there was what what was that close by was it like a base or something like that I I don't know. I remember it's the bridge. Sort of, I remember it's like, like going this airfield there. kind of oh, airfield. Okay. Yeah, so. it's a small airfield. It's not a. Uh, they got many hangars, but it's like a, a just like a small time a, a like a little mini airport in in a sense. Okay. Yeah. So like we went to that bridge, and then I, I who was up at the bridge with me? Was it you or was it Victor that went down? Me. Okay, so you stayed up at the bridge with me, right? Okay. Yeah. So we were both like at the top of the bridge, just there. And then Victor's like, "Well, I want to go see whatever." Like he's like, "I want to go find it." And then he like goes into the bridge. He's like walking through all this tall grass, like he's going under the bridge. It's, it's just like, nope, no, thank you. Just y'all three? Yeah, it was just us yeah. three. And let me ask you this: When y'all got off the car, was there like a just the, you know, when it's so silent that you just like that piercing silent, and you just hear like the mm-hmm. cricket just ding? Was, like was it like that? Was it like? Like extra quiet, but like a weird, a weird silence. You hear like a little, think, a little buzz. I don't, I don't know, know what you're so talking weird. about. It's like where your brain is like, like realizing that it's just like nothing. There's no other sound or something like that. Yeah, there's like you hear like just the crickets, like do like the weird little noises. But every as far as everything else, it's just dead. I can't remember too well. No, okay, I remember. I, you were the one that stayed up on the bridge. Me and Victor went down with the flashlights because okay. we had the flashlights. Yeah, and I was like, because I remember this. walking through that grass. Okay. And I remember, like, it was quiet. It, it wasn't like a weird quiet. It was just quiet. But I remember, like, looking at the flashlights and looking under the side of the bridge. And I remember, like, I'm not a paranormal person. Like, I'd like to experience, like, a ghost or something, but I, I definitely the believing and non-believing is kind of in the middle but i do know that something was weird that we like shined a light on yeah um, maybe it was like imaginate it, it was imaginative and we we thought about it in our minds and like it constructed it but i do know that like we ran at some point because <laughs> something like scared us and we went back to the car I, okay now i remember that i remember y'all i, cause <laughs> I, I was freaking out up there because i was i was on the top of the bridge by myself Okay, so I'm starting to remember. Yeah, right you now. didn't want you didn't want like anything to do. Yeah, because I didn't want to go there to begin with. <laughs> Y'all just freaking drove me yeah. in the car. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I just stayed on top of the bridge. I was like, uh, cause maybe Vic, like maybe Gary was up there for me, like with me for a little bit, and then he went down there. But I just remember being up there talking to somebody, and then I don't remember much after that. But I do remember the part that you're talking about where y'all were running. Yeah. And so maybe I think one Victor may have saw something when he was down there, and then you went to go check it out with him, and then. That happened. <laughs> so okay, that's kind of funny that you brought that up because yeah, that is like that. I remember the yeah, running. That that was my that was my second example because yeah, I I have no idea why we just decided at one point like we're gonna go to the Donkey Lady Bridge. I remember even like looking it up on the maps on Google like where is the Donkey Lady Bridge? Like let's go. Let's. But do see, it. that's another thing though. That's like uh uh that's like another thing though. Like for us, especially here, like in in Texas, San Antonio. We have a lot of those spots, so for yeah. us, for us, it's like tradition. Like it's like, uh, it's we did the same thing with my friends. Like how y'all did. Like, hey, let's get in the car. Let's <laughs> go to yeah. the tracks. Let's go to the the aqueducts. You know, the aqueducts is another is another bridge that's really haunted. It's so to say that you it's uh, real old. On one side, the the whole myth, the whole little story behind it, is that it's a small bridge. On one side, you can die two two ways. Mm-hmm. You're gonna fall off on the on the right side and and fall to boulders and just blunt force, or the other side, which is a swampy stream where you drown. But when you get on the other side, there's apparently a, a field right, and a lot of stuffs happen in that area. So what they say is that. Uh, the iconic Lechusa, which is an owl witch, that there's plenty of those over that bridge. That if you whistle and you get a whistle back, you better run the hell out of there. Because <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll go after you. They'll attack you. But you, you never whistle in that area or in that bridge. Because you run, you're going you're gonna to take a spell either way. 
<laughs> we've been there too i mean i've been there and i've been there before in the dark i think that's the only reason why i asked you about the that the weird silence and you 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 can feel like the aura like oh shit maybe i shouldn't be here yeah. <laughs> i might have been talking to myself all the time just to keep myself <laughs> like having to deal with this bullshit i just want it out hey, like as soon as, we, as soon as i got out of the car i want it out <laughs> <laughs> so uh what was yours gary since I saw yours. Okay, so <laughs> if you're talking about a movie scene, like I have too many of both, but if you're talking about a movie scene that's like iconic and deals with Halloween and like my memories, um, one I think of Chucky two when he dies in the factory when he essentially like gets melted and boiled. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. That's I I cool. think it's a great scene. I think it's awesome. Um, I love how it's done, and I love how you, you're like, yeah, there's no way he could still be alive at the end of this. And it's like, of course he comes back. Um, but I think of that scene because he's like a wax figure, essentially, he's getting melted down. And then, of course, I think of, like, the original TV series, It, where they're in the library and the red balloon is floating by, and none of the adults notice um, and you know it's full of blood. Yeah. And it eventually pops. Like, I, I remember watching it on TV and being, like, scared shitless. Um, but also being, like, really interested. Um, so those are my scenes. Like, the red balloon is especially... Um, and then memories. I have too many memories associated with, like, Halloween or scary things. Uh, yeah, the Donkey Bridge was my second. Um... Also, I have a good memory. I remember one time I was laying with my dad and I had no costume and we were about to go trick or treating. And I was older, so I didn't have like the Halloween pail to collect candy. I got smarter yeah. and now I was like, yeah, let's take pillowcases. Yeah. <laughs> so me and my sister would take pillowcases to collect candy. Um, and I had no costume at the time. So she was trying to think of costumes and I eventually went with static cling. So my costume was essentially like underwear and socks and things like pinned to me. Like when you take it yeah. out of the dryer and you feel like the static cling and like the electricity. And that was my costume. And okay. I remember tricking tre trick or treating with her and no one understood it at all. No one got it at all. <laughs> Um, but I got the candy in the end, so that's all that mattered. Um, and of course you would like come back home, dump the candy, and you would like almost like trade with each other to see like, okay, well I have like this candy, you want it, like let me get that. Um, but yeah, I have, I have too many like Halloween memories, too many like, I love, too many October memories okay. to, to, to name, but those two for sure come to my mind. That's funny. Yeah, remember there was like a time where we went. I can't remember who went trick or treating with us. I know Victor was there, and I think Bo went too as well. Um, I just remember I was getting lost. <laughs> <laughs> we were with my family, and then somehow we just got lost. I think we went to like uh, one of the houses that like actually like where they were trying to scare you at the front. And I think it was one where we just ran. <laughs> we, yeah, we went. We went with y'all quite a few times to those man. Uh, Nightmare on Grayson. Oh yeah, those haunted uh, houses with yeah. Juan and everyone. Oh dude, it's good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Juan, Irene, all of them. That was one time where I went with my aunts. My aunts and I went to Nightmare, uh, Nightmare and Grayson, and I. It was funny because like I was enjoying, it. like I was laughing and everything. Because my aunts in front of me were just like freaking out. They walked like the entire time with their head down, or like their head like behind <laughs> behind somebody. And all you could, all you have to do is just say boo, and they'll freak out again. Like it's just really funny. Um, but yeah, no, I I never really did too much for Halloween. I wanted to and stuff like that, but like, literally because. We've always just done like something for my parents because they got married on Halloween. I wonder what made them do that. Honestly, <laughs> that's freaking awesome. I always loved that. Uh, but you know what though, I I feel like back then it was a lot different uh, trick or treating than than now because like, I mean it's like a free for all now. Like back then, like you said, like in the neighborhood you'd get all together, uh, you know, with your group of friends. But then like. You know when the when the parents like kind of they would go with you obviously they walk with you right but they mm -hmm. give you like a little leash so you get to hang out with the other kids and stuff like that when you're going around through the through the community and stuff like that yeah like they're just started keeping an eye on you and that's all 
Yeah, and I, I loved interacting with everyone and stuff like that. Like I made made, uh, made new friends and stuff like that, and you had a good time. Uh, I miss that. I miss that. I know it's a lot different now. Uh, well, even before COVID, but like, uh, I guess the trick or treat in certain areas has, has gone uh, has changed. Yeah. But I miss I miss like everyone grouping together, kind of like how you would in like a cul de sac nowadays. Mm-hmm. I remember going far. We used to go really far. Yeah. Especially like my parents' house. So we would go from like like where my parents lived all the way to like the elementary school, which was miles away. Like, it was very far. And then I think about it now. I was like, I wonder where did they go? I'm pretty sure like half the time, I'm like someone's driving them around. Like, I don't even know. Because the last time I remember trick or treating was with you. And I was, we were in the back of some truck with like your cousins and someone else. That was my uh, stepdad's truck. Okay. Like, that's the last time I remember trick or treating. Is it like either my we stepdad's that, truck or my grandpa's truck? I can't yeah, remember. we were in that truck driving around, and then we went trick or treating after that. Okay, yeah, because I think we it, went, it was in that neighborhood. Yeah, like we did the neighbor, like because I think we do like the whole area, like you know, where my parents have they have that like three street thing. Like I know we do that, and then we do some of the houses further down. And then they drove us to the other side of the neighborhood, which is where they have like everything. So I remember that because I know I think there was like a couple houses that just weren't doing it. So I thought that's where they drove us there. Yeah, yeah, that was a long time ago. I remember you having your pillowcase there. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you said the pillowcase. That's why you said the pillowcase. I knew exactly what you're talking about because you had that when we went trick or treating. So that's funny. I don't even know what I had. I had some weird bag. Um, <laughs> we had the I, we had we did that too. I remember uh, a few years actually. The pillowcase. Like how do you not? Because then you come back and you got like half a pillowcase. You're like hell yeah. Yeah, you get more. Yeah. If the you little, have, like, like plastic jug out. lantern, it fills up too quickly. You need yeah. that pillowcase. I know. Once you get too many, you know your your handle starts. Uh, yeah, starts bending. <laughs> <laughs> Just breaks right off. Boosh. Um, I'm trying to think. What other? What else I could ask you about Halloween? Halloween related. Was there anything uh, y'all wanted you know to what? ask? Uh, mm-hmm. I'd really love to do that. Uh, uh that tour uh, in Salem for Halloween one year. In Massachusetts. I really love to go out there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. It's a it's a lot of spookiness over there for sure. Is it like the area where they did the witch trials and all that stuff? Yeah. Oh, that's creepy. That and there's a few uh a few real uh, famous hauntings out there too. I'm not too big into yeah. all that horror stuff, so Oh man. You gotta take you out there one night. <laughs> <laughs> one time, I don't. I don't like to mess with that stuff. <laughs> we'll go to the. Uh, we'll go to the. Uh, they even have the. Uh, the Satan. The Satanist mm-hmm. church over there. Mm-hmm. I forgot yeah. what it's called. Yeah. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> Someone just posted a picture recently, and they, they were uh, inside the actual uh, museum itself, and they took a picture with like the statue, the satanic statue. It looks pretty crazy. <laughs> So I'm just gonna bring a Ouija board to uh, Victor's, to- <laughs> Victor's tomorrow and be like, "All right, like we'll bring out whatever's there." It's like, "All right, bye. See y'all later. Bye. Y'all have fun with that." <laughs> We're gonna do the Ouija at a uh, at your party. Oh hell no! <laughs> I'd like to do it, but I also, even though I'm not, even though I don't believe in like spirits and ghosts and stuff, there's still part of me that's like, "Nah, I shouldn't be doing this." There's still some sort of force out there. It's just yeah. like, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's not mess with this. <laughs> Yeah, that's what, it's like always funny. Like at my parents' house, there used to always be some weird shit always happening over there. Um, but the one that I like, that's like, I find hilarious was the one where like, so I was at my parents' house, I was a little kid, um, and we can hear like, like some noise in the back in the garage. <clears throat> Mind you, we're like on the opposite side of the house from the garage, so it's like it's crazy that we were able to hear it. But like, we hear like little kids laughing and stuff like that. And I just remember my mom being like. Like telling my stepdad, she's like, "What's that?" He's like, "I don't know. Go check it out." <laughs> I busted out laughing for the other room. And she's like, "Are you, are you stupid? I'm not going over there." He's like, "Well, I'm not going." So I told him to go check it out. <laughs> I don't know. Can you check for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just like, "Well, there goes your white knight right there." <laughs> oh my god, uh, that, was, that was hilarious. That was, like that was just like one of the funniest things I heard him say to her. Um, yeah, because he. <laughs> Cause he doesn't mess with that stuff either. He's like, nope, no ghost for me. Oh, so it was funny. Oh man, I can imagine Roger saying. That. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't know. Go check it out. <laughs> oh, 
I don't know. Let me know when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> Invite you. This is uh, before my sister was even born, so she's like probably she would have been the one to run in there to go take a look at it. Yeah. Oh man, what? Hey, have you ever lived in a in a haunted house? Hell, no, oh, just the yeah. one the one my parents have. <laughs> just uh, is it? There's some weird shit you that's happened, so? man. There's those kids laughing in the garage. We haven't heard of them in years, but I haven't been there for over a year. But yeah, there's like kids laughing in the garage. The glass in the front door broke randomly. What uh, the hell? So I went for a jog. It was like in high school. Um, I went for a jog. Yeah. And as I was running, I was able to hear something like in my left ear. I had headphones in, but it's like as if like my headphones turned off on one ear and I was able to just hear like a whisper. And it, yeah, I know, yeah. I know it's scary, right, Zach? Oh, <laughs> 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 um, anyways. <It's> so perfect. <laughs> so like I heard that and I was like, nope, going back home. So I ran straight back to my parents' house. Um, and then when yeah. I got to my parents' house, the you know how you can see through the glass? Mm-hmm. Um, so like the, the the window on the door. Yeah, the window on the door. So they had the okay. light on. Yeah, yeah. The, they had a light on uh, the porch light, and I was able to see a figure. It was just a dark figure, like just pure black figure. And then yeah. I was like, I stood there, and I was like, I am not walking up there, like, because that's I don't think that's Roger. <laughs> it's most definitely my, not my mom, because <laughs> she ain't that tall. Um, yeah. And so that glass door at the front entrance, like, it just cracked. Um. Wow. Yeah. Like so that, and it's still there. They might like they kept that crack there because that that's come that's some glass you can't really replace. So that it's little, a thick, it's a pretty thick glass too. Yeah. It's not like it's a thin, it's a thin piece of glass. Yeah. No, it's uh, pretty thick. Yeah. Yeah. So if you ever actually go look at that front door, you'll see the crack. It's still there. Um. But yeah, like it I just, check that it out. just randomly cracked the most random moment. <laughs> so I was just like, oh, okay, something was following me. I don't know what the hell's going on. So now I'm just I mean, like, I do remember hearing a couple of things from from back then, but uh, uh, like uh, from like in the kitchen area. Yeah, that's where the kids would like. Right. That's where we'd hear some stuff. Like we would hear some things, and then the ki- like kids' laughter is in the garage. When I'd go uh, get up in the middle of the night to go to the restroom, mm-hmm. yeah, I would you'd hear like something in the kitchen sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, but so I always so. thought like, oh, maybe Roger is out. Or... <laughs> Right. <laughs> maybe your mom's getting something <laughs> that's why i always wanted like that's why i always wanted like every time i was at that, my parents i was like nope i need a dog like nope it's like i need something here nah. to help me out here so it'll warn me if there's a presence around yeah <laughs> i like how this just went into like a ghost storytelling episode yeah <laughs> i'll tell you a story go for it um the house the first house that i was at like the house i was like born in essentially that I raised in mm-hmm. there was an open field in my backyard so like my grandparents owned like most of the field back there until it hit the other house so it went pretty far and there yeah. was this really old really old tree that was mostly just like a stump and then just an extension of a tree no branches no leaves anything it was just kind of like this open you know like old um old tree and i remember next door to me lived two two brothers um and i would play like sega genesis with them i played like mortal Kombat with them and mario and um not mario and um anyway i played sega genesis with them and they were my neighbors and they were my friends so i remember one time they came over to my backyard and it was during autumn there was tons of like brown and yellow leaves on the ground and we went to the tree. And as a lie, when we went to the tree, I was like, <clears throat> yeah, the devil lives here. And they were like, what? Like, yeah, like the devil lives here. And at that time, like in a week span, there were like dead birds surrounding this tree. And I didn't know why there were dead birds on the ground around it, but there were at least three of them with like no puncture wounds. They mm-hmm. were just dead with their wings back. Um, and I, I, I honestly thought the devil lived there, and I also lied to them, saying like the devil was there because I wanted to scare them. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, yeah, the <laughs> devil lives there, and I was like, look, just, just listen. Can you hear him? And I, and it was quiet, and yeah. nothing was happening. And then we all at the same time just hear leave, and then we just like bolt running, and they run back to their house, and I run back to my house. And that was it. We never talked about it again. 
So like, we never talked about hearing a voice that told us to leave. We never talked about the tree again. Um, and I never went back out there again to like look at if there were more birds or not. Mm -hmm. But I was like scared shitless as a kid because I was like, oh shit, it's true. The devil does live here. Um, That's a good one. Oh, and yeah, yeah man. It, it scared the shit out of me as a kid because it was a creepy ass tree. It was like rotting bark and there was no branches. There was like a hole in the middle. Um, it's like, why are there dead birds around it? Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, now we know why you don't why you don't mess with that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. It was it was scary as a kid. <laughs> The cursed tree. Yeah, man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't know how this episode was going to turn out because I didn't really have a full plan. I just wanted to do something where we could just chat about Halloween or scary stuff or Halloween in general. Well, this is this is a this is a topic. Yeah, this is definitely. I mean, this is what puts you in the in the Halloween. For me, like I've been listening to uh, to uh, uh, Mr. Creepy Pasta and all that stuff. He's got some great <laughs> Halloween specials going on right now. <laughs> what the hell's that? <laughs> uh it's, it's basically like scary stories it's oh, like okay. it puts you in uh it's like a podcast where it's just nothing but horror stories and uh real encounters and stuff like that okay but it's like this it's like what we're talking about like these these stories definitely it's like put you in the in the halloween mood mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. i don't really have anything else that i wanted to bring up um i don't know if there's anything that y'all wanted to ask or anything like that now that we kind of uh do you guys do you like are you one of those people who when fall comes around you're like oh yeah pumpkin coffee pumpkin scones pumpkin donuts pumpkin this like everything <laughs> is, is about pumpkins right now for me it's just the halloween oreos and pumpkin pie <laughs> that's it <laughs> The Halloween oreos <laughs> you have to stock up while they're while you got them around right now dude i love 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 those oreos <laughs> i'm not i wouldn't say i'm not so not so much on like that that kind of way but more of like halloween decorations uh actual pumpkins to carve you know buying a buying scary movies i don't have mm -hmm. i'm that kind of person like that like i'll go out and hunt for for like 1978 movie horror film just for just for like a, a a gang of movies that I put like yeah. a little marathon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will say like decorating is fun, like for Halloween stuff. Like when we used to decorate at Danny's house, like Danny's house for yeah. Halloween every year for his Halloween yeah. party. Uh, webbing is something I never thought I would even imagine being able to control. Somehow I've been able to work with webbing every year and make it look good. <laughs> so Master it. It's <laughs> dude. It takes a lot of patience. <laughs> I think the first year that I did with webbing, and I I what I did was uh. I webbed his entire house, like his entire inside of his house, like the living room, the kitchen, yeah. like everything on the roof. Like I just made it. I I was very proud of it, but it took me eight hours to do it. <laughs> I oh did damn! The, I did it all in one day. <laughs> it was exhausting as hell, but it was cool. Oh my god! Yeah. So like ever since then, did like you, did every you do year, it before the party? Yeah, it was all before the party. Yeah. yeah. I didn't do it while we were partying. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, like like uh, not like that. Like the day of. Oh, like oh. The day before. I did it the day before the party. Yeah. I think okay, it was okay. the day before. Gary, you were there for a bit, right? Yeah, I have a video of you dancing behind Danny. It was kind of funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that dance. <laughs> dude, some like weird music came on, and Gary was like just jamming out to it, and then Danny was like trying to clean or like do stuff, and then he like kind of cornered him like in the pantry. It was funny. <laughs> and then your little swinging thing, like a, like a Running Man kind of dance. <laughs> it was the really Running funny. Man. Yeah, and that was another one uh, from last year actually. Uh, Victor, Gary, and I were decorating Danny's house. Victor tried to put Victor a stupid, Crumb. Victor tried to put like a stupid clamp around my neck or something. I don't know what it was. <laughs> no, one not. of those. Uh... Yeah, it was like a jiggle, big old chain, <laughs> yeah. but it was like one that you can put it on someone's neck and you can just pull them. Yeah, he's, yeah, 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 yeah. I know he's, what you're like in about. the video, he's I like, think I have one for Jason. <laughs> <laughs> like in the video, he like comes up to me, he's like, "Come here, baby." <laughs> he like tries to put it on. <laughs> I'm like, Get Come away. here, let me let me drag you around with me. Uh, no, yeah, those those are always fun. Especially like when you get like when you see like the before and after like the process of it looks so messy, yeah. but then when you get to the ending, it looks pretty cool. It's crazy. We had like a giant like, what was it? A horse? A horse. A horse. Like a skeleton. Oh horse. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know where the hell he got that from. It was the most random thing I saw. Yeah, Danny buys like hundreds of dollars worth of Halloween decorations. 
And then he just lays it all on the table and he's like, all right, what do we do with this? We just Let's make, go to work. Yeah, we, yeah. Just, we just make it work. <laughs> yeah. It's the most random stuff. I love that, though. Cool. Yeah. So. I love that, though, though. You got to get in the spirit. Yeah. That was, one, <laughs> that was one time where I put a whole bunch of webbing outside his house, too. <laughs> yeah, and then there was a spider. Right? Was that the last party with, like, the big-ass spider? Oh, that wasn't the last one. That was the one before. It was at his old house with the giant spider. Was the first time... Was the uh, first time okay. you doing a spider web uh, at his uh, apartment? No, it was at his house. He's every time he's it's always been at a house. Yeah. yeah he what had a house. That, uh, what about the ones at the apartment? Remember that one? I don't remember too well. Um. Oh man, that's a good times at that one. <laughs> I know. I know what apartment you're talking about. There was the one that's like, or it's like a pretty much a college dorm kind of apartment, right? Yes. Yeah, I know what the you're talking about. The Lockintero one. No, it was oh. over by uh, Babcock, I think. And sixteen oh four. The one yeah, where he so. got his Xbox stolen from. I thought that was the Lock and Terror one. No, the Lock and Terror one was the one that he never had a party over there, but it was when we hung out with Alex and Shelby at his apartment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So this one was the one that you broke his door. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Gary was so drunk that he, he needed to go to the restroom and well Danny locked his yeah. door and Gary broke it down. Kick that shit in, dude. He went. He went. Boom. He kicked it oh, in. Yeah. He's like, I've always wanted to do this. Boom. And then he who was the... in there? Nobody. No one. Nobody. It just. I needed to, to go to the bathroom, and there was like a line of three people behind me, like they knew to go to the bathroom. And we called Danny, couldn't find him, couldn't find him anywhere. So I was drunk enough to kick in the door. <laughs> so it was, it was really funny. I mean, it led to yeah. his Xbox being uh, stolen, but you know. It was fine. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. <laughs> no, but that's about it. That was the Halloween. It was fun. I'm it's, interested it's to see how this. Party. I'm interested to see how Halloween goes from here on out. If people are going to be delivering <laughs> candy from one. tubes and stuff like that. It'd be different. Did you see that video of? Like, I, know. I can't remember who it was that was off. Like that was like doing like a drivable candy machine. Like you just walk up to say trick or treat, and then it like dispenses candy. Mm-hmm. I can't remember what company oh, wow. did it. I have to look that up. I mean, yeah, I've seen people have like shoot systems from their door. They just like send the candy down. Yeah, you can get it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that. The lines are pretty cool. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I was like, but you're still touching it. I mean, oh uh, yeah. It's the True. people receiving it that are risking it. <laughs> I would just like chuck candy at. It's like catch it. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Ring this bell if you want candy. I'll put it yeah. in one of those uh, one of those little those little cannons that you that you see at like the t-shirt uh, the Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna get someone a concussion? The ice, like, here's you... here's Skittles, fifteen miles an hour at you. <laughs> it's gonna be like rubber bullets just bouncing <laughs> off of you. You're gonna be see like a bunch of different colored indentions on you. <laughs> Like the like the fun size Snickers, those things are like pellets. Here. <laughs> oh, that'd be it's horrible. like a rubber bullet. Dude. Oh, yeah. It's like the Jolly Rancher candies. You just shoot them oh, yeah. <laughs> you're get... oh no, that, yeah. Dude, you're gonna get like welts and shit. BB for sure. Like after you get shot with a paintball gun. Yeah, <laughs> I've I've only been shot in the hand, so I still don't really fully know what that feels like to get shot anywhere else. Oh, I got I shot mean, in the leg all the way. I got shot in the thumb. Yeah, that that sucked because it bruised up my thumb for a good while. It dropped me automatically. I went from running to just. I remember shooting. I accidentally shot a girl in the face. It was, it, it was kind of funny now that I look back at it. <laughs> she popped her head out. You I shot, shot her in the face mask. Yeah, I shot her in the uh, face mask. She was fine. Oh I asked her if she God. was okay. <laughs> she was like, oh, I, I didn't need right. to. I was just trying to get them. She was there was like a group of people shooting at me, and I just saw her popped up, and I shot her, and it hit her in the mask. It stained her hair a little bit too because it like came up here a little bit. It was funny. I was like, "Oh my god, are you okay?" <laughs> what color was it? What color do you remember? It was yellow. It was the yellow ones. Yellow. Yeah. Oh man. It was funny. I was gonna say if it was the red ones, you're gonna take forever to get that dye out of her hair. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I'm actually dying. I'm supposed to be dying my hair tonight, so this will look different. Oh yeah. I want it done before tomorrow. Can't... I can't wait to see how it looks. Okay. Yeah, I'm worried. <laughs> So I chose like not to cut Your my first hair. First time. Yeah, it's my first time. So I was like, I chose not to cut my hair just in case it's so bad that I could just cut my hair. 
<laughs> yeah, like if it's bad, I'll just go ahead and uh, take a trim, take yep. it off. I'll just go cut back everything off. I'll just uh, I'll just shave my head. It's fine. Go back to jet black. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's pretty much it. That's um, that's all I had for today. Just wanted to talk about like some movies. Uh, definitely had a little surprise with the scary stories part, which was fun though. So Gary's oh, rocking yeah, his for chair. Sure. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. <laughs> Man, Gary, if you were, if you would ever see that rocking by itself, what would you do? <laughs> <laughs> you stopped real quick. <laughs> He was like, wait a minute. I don't know. <laughs> would you just keep walking? Or would you take a I, just, I would just be like, it's the fan. And then walk away. <laughs> there's a draft. There's a draft. Yeah. It's like, there's, a good, there's a good wind in it's there. A, it's like the, the old man from Ready or Not. The one that was like supposed to be dead. Yeah. When they see him at the very end of the film. Oh, you probably Ready. had a heart attack. You don't remember, Gary? We saw this movie. Oh, Ready or Not. Yeah. Oh, the sunlight movie? Yeah. They all die with something. Yeah. Wait. That and Annabelle. I haven't seen it. Oh, dude. That doll's, that, yeah, that doll's a, creepy, dude. There's a chair. There, there's a chair with that that's exactly like that. The rocking one where she sits in it and you just see it moving like that. <laughs> like that. Or, you ever seen The Others? It's the one with oh, Nicole Kidman, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Nicole Kidman? Yeah, I've seen it. Damn, I haven't seen that one in a long that's time. That's a good movie. Yeah. That's a creepy one. Wow. Anyways. That's a good one. That's a good movie. People, you should watch that if y'all haven't seen it. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right. So, to all you listeners, um, this was just an intermission episode and ended up turning into a Halloween celebration kind of one. Um, don't listen. <laughs> shut up. Uh, the next, the next <laughs> one. Unsubscribe. Don't follow. <laughs> Get out of here, losers. <laughs> Get out. So, so, the next film that we're going to be doing is uh, Brian's Choice uh, from Dust to Dawn. I will be recording that this weekend. Um, today is also Josh's birthday, so happy birthday to Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. Gary's celebrating with the lighter in his hand. Um, <laughs> but yeah, to all of y'all, like, comment, subscribe to the po- to the podcast. Leave a um, comment, you bastards. Gary wants to read I haven't it. Heard, I haven't heard one freaking comment. Gary wants, Gary wants to hear what Isaiah, to say. Isaiah says there's comments. I've heard I said there's messages. Comments. I said there's messages messages where are they at anyways yeah they're not they're give us a give us some comments send us the reviews over through the the apple podcast so gary can read them i have victor's. who's listening victor's victor's is there this is kind of funny victor doesn't count yeah, <laughs> yeah we love to have you guys Big <laughs> um but yeah we definitely love the feedback so y'all have a good night peace